It's the 23rd to the 25th of September 2016 and this is Plymouth Arts Weekend and I caught up with the artist Kevin Tull. So you're part of Plymouth Arts Weekend? <laughs> yes. And what's yeah. your name? My name's Kevin Toll. I'm part of the Flameworks exhibition, the theme of which is, is chrysalis, yeah. and that incorporates the idea of metamorphosis. And the piece I'm working on is a final piece from a year-long project, which was to record one tree with drawings of one A1 drawing per week. Yes. And this piece is the final culmination. The project ran from August 2015 until September the 1st, 2016. Um, on one of the drawings, I also took a series of photographs, and these go together to make this long. And I wanted to, to see how the marks that I was making in the A1 size drawings yeah. changed as I had to convey information on a much bigger scale. Uh -huh. So the drawing is really about how everything changes in terms of its scale. Um, and the idea of metamorphosis in chrysalis comes about from the change which happens from a blank sheet of paper into a finished drawing and the change that occurs between scale, a scale which happens, say, in a sketchbook, to an A1 piece, to a drawing which is 19 foot long. So that's about it. And the idea was to do it through the weekend, so to work on the drawing. So to start with a blank sheet of paper and then to end up, hopefully, with a finished drawing. It's going to be a push to actually finish it as a finished drawing. But there's enough information down here now so people can get an idea of what's going on. And so all your work's based around nature, is it? My work is... Well, I should explain that. I'm pretty much of a trad person, I suppose, really. Um, I haven't gone to art school formally. I don't have a BA. The formal education in art that I had was actually doing a two-year ceramics course. Yes. But uh, I even ran out of time on that. <laughs> <laughs> or rather, I ran out of money. Yes. Um, Easy to do when you're doing art. But I've, I've been drawing and painting ever since I was probably about four. Yeah. So I've So it's in the blood. Is it in the family, family as well? You've got all the pub no. moments. No, I come from this area originally. My family comes from this area. My mother was was born and brought up literally about 100 yards down the road from here. That's in Devonport, yeah. near the Guildhall. Yeah. yeah, in Kerr Street. My grandfather ran a bakery in Duke Street behind the Guildhall. And that bakery ran for five generations. And my parents were married in a church just up the road in St Alban Church. So it's a bit like coming home in a way for me. I yeah. really like working here and being in this space and showing my work here in that way in Devonport. So it's, it's quite become nice. quite peaceful now as well, isn't it? It is. It's really, it's really good. It, I mean, the nature of Devonport is changing all the time. Yeah. But it's, it's probably the most cosmopolitan. It's Sorry. It's not forming itself the way it's constantly evolving. Yeah, that's right. It is. It's changing all the time. You can see the way that the housing stock is changing. That changes people's perceptions of their own area. And that started when Kerr Street was, was rebuilt. Yeah. And that was the first development, redevelopment of, of Devonport. And that pulled everybody from the community in together to ask for their ideas on what they wanted yeah. to make their environment a better environment for them to live in. So there is a changing process happening throughout Devonport, which is very important. 
Yeah, and it's very important for the people here, I think. Well, and for Plymouth people as well. And for Plymouth and people for as well. People. The way that the city is changing is really important. The very, way that very, things very like the Plymouth plan is going to be interacted. Mm -hmm. and it's got, there are so many things involved in that anyway. So have you been away from Plymouth any possible? Yes, yeah. I, I lived in Glasgow for 20 years. Yes. I've lived in Bristol and London quite a lot as well. Wow. But the big two places for me are probably well, down here where I come from and Glasgow, which I have a real affinity for. I love the place. Yes. Well, the thing about Plymouth is geographically you've got everything in such a small area. It's very, very tight, you know, from uh, from the moors to the sea and to the forests and the environment around the city plays a, a really crucial impact yes. on the way that the city develops and the way that Plymouthians are yeah. the way that there's such a close tie to the sea and obviously then to the navy in that sense and the merchant the navy yeah. as well and then the moor is so close and that plays a big influence and then the whole of the coastal region, both sides, into Cornwall and into the Southampton, into South Devon, is really important for people. It's so easy to get out of the city yeah. and to be in really good, really pleasant environments uh, within 10 minutes. Yeah. So you're making a living from your work? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm living on savings. I was made redundant from the oil business I'm last year. I'm living on year. savings as well. Pardon? I'm, I'm living, living on savings. savings as well. I think we all do in a way, you know. Yeah. I think the only, reason, the only way you can survive as a, yeah. as a practicing artist is to have some kind of external means of support in that way. Yeah. I think most people do. Yeah. Well, I haven't misled you with this video, and I'm not forced to, a media no, forced to. Not at all. Uh, I'm just coming on spec, like I do with all my work and all, all the people I uh, talk to. Yeah. It's nice to see you work anyway. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Uh, I hope you have a good time. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Thanks to Kevin Toll. This is at the Guild Hall in Devonport. Music on this video is with great thanks by Chris Oxland. You can Facebook him for Gigs in Plymouth. This has been a Chris Muffy Media production 2016. You can find me at ccsphoto12 at hotmail.com and if you can help me, sponsor me at paypal, Christopher Summerfield at gmail.com. It's a lifestyle thing. Be who you want to be.